Hello, hello again. This is Marlene from M. Lopez Bath and Body Creations. If this is your first time. Hi and welcome. And um, yes, I'm in my jammy shirt. Uh, I decided to go ahead and film my unmolding and my um, splitting of my of my slab molds and my loaves. So um, I've got. I did not make a video of making these soaps, but I am. I don't know, just time got away from me and I just, I just went for it. So, this is a double loaf of my, uh, gosh, was it my lavender detox bar? It overheated and it split on me. It was cold out here, and of course, you know, these get warm inside, you know, inside the actual slab. And um, it split. It happens. Not a big deal. And. Uh, so now we're just going to go ahead and cut these into loaves. It's been a few days, so I'm a little worried. Let's see, where do I? Back this up a little bit. There we go. I'm a little worried. It's been a few days. <laughs> Normally I cut these or split them after a day, maybe two. It's been real. Ooh, that one got away from me. Come here, baby. Nice. Nice even color. Go ahead and put you there. this again. Let's see. Let's put this here. And it is a little bit tough because I waited so long. I usually don't have to wrestle with it. And this piece turns into my little samples that I put inside um, my customer's bags or when I'm at my pop-up shops, I give them away. I give them away, so I cut them into the little pieces where they're they're just little samples. Let's see. Gosh, even that's tough. Ooh so I usually put them in my. In my single cutter, split it in half, and then cut them into thirds. I don't know if I'll show that today, but you're going to see a lot of the process of me cutting, trimming. Well, let's see how much of that process we get done. Come on. It's already wanting to fight with him for this. How did everybody's holiday go? Mine went excellent. Had a great time. Did lots of pop shops. Did some really great sales. Was able to afford to stock up on a lot of items that I needed for my shop. Make a couple investments. Pay a few things down. And, um, reinvest. So I'm hoping that uh, if you're new here, I had a car accident a, a few months back and totaled my car. So now I'm saving to buy one. I already have one little Mustang, but uh, that's not enough for me to be able to pack everything in so I can do my shows. <laughs> so uh, Mama's going to need a truck, a nice little pickup, so I've got to come up with a down payment for that. And I've got those, where am I going to put them? This place is still too small. I have no idea where I, I have to put stuff. Because now, I 
guess what? I have got to unmold two more silks for you. And then split them into logs. So let me move this over here. Please don't fall. That one over there. Please don't fall. Let me get let me get those logs for you. And here we go. This is bourbon cream. This is my uh, tall skinny double loaf mold from Workshop Heritage. I was so happy when these came in. I made enough money once one day to just buy three of these, one tall skinny triple mold, and one tall skinny 32 pound mold. So I was super excited. And then when they got here, I was like, oh crap, now I actually have to start making stuff. So yeah, it was a little bit of a panic because I've got to put that into use. So these silicone molds are awesome. Super, super awesome. Everything just comes right off smoothly and most of the time my edges are nice and neat. Look at that. Oh, it's because my hands are sticky and I'm getting all kinds of stuff. Um, come on. Oh, that bourbon cream smells so good. I mean, I liked it when I smelled it. Um, out of the bottle, but smelling it in the in the soap, I like it even more. Really, really liking it even more. Let's see. I'm a little bit afraid because, like I said, these things are about three, four days old, and I don't tend to unmold things that late. Can you still see? Can you see that? No. Okay, how's that? Is that enough? Too bad. It's just my my log splitter is moving on a little bit. That's all. Come on, let go, baby. Ta-da! And this uh, fragrance discolors. So the older it gets, that yellowish tinge to it. Will actually start to turn darker just the way the outside is and it's actually going to get even darker than that i'm not sure how dark we'll just have to wait and see on that one getting the soap residue off of that i love the swirl that came out on there and there's the soda ash on top of this one slab right there. Ta-da! So now we've got two slabs. Yes, that's all the stuff left over from the other slab. But I always clean off my soaps, so that won't be there. Let 
As you can tell, I am in my shed in the backyard, so you're going to hear a little bit of noise. Gardeners and people throwing trash out. Not a big deal. Everybody working from home nowadays pretty much understands. Although most people work from inside their house. Not me. Let's see. Keep putting that down. Put it straight up against the back. Make sure these come out straight. Yeah, the older these get, the more they'll discolor to to a darker to a darker brown. I've got one more slab for you. I really should have made a larger batch of that charcoal detox bar, but um, I didn't have enough oil at the time. So what I was doing was just making a bunch of smaller batches, like, uh, especially of these, of these, uh, new fragrance oils that I got that I'm trying to experiment with and see how well they sell. I'm liking that one. I don't know how much my customer base is going to enjoy that, but I really do like it. That's it. It's, it's sweet, but musky. I really do like that. I hope my customers do too. And depending on how they react, you know, tells me whether I'm going to buy bigger bottles and continue to make more and make bigger batches. We have one more cool water. Take this back. Hold on. Put this here. near perfect. I'll see right now. Hang on. Oh, you guys want to see me? I'm old. Oh wow, that one's nice and hard. I'm a little scared. Now I'm a little bit scared how it's gonna cut. <laughs> Is this thing gonna get punish me for taking too long? Oops, I just dug into it with my nail. Come on, let me jiggle you off. There we go. Beautiful blue. That's preppy blue mica from Mad Micas. Gorgeous. Oh, 
and this is called Cool Waters. Yes, to dupe the original Davidoff Cool Water. It's uh, oh my gosh, you're completely slipping my mind. No, it's not. It's bulk, apothe uh, bulk apothecary's version of da uh, Davidoff's Cool Water. So I don't knock anything over. And we shall start cutting. Oh, no. Shoot. Of course, picking up pieces of the other soaps. Actually. Scoot back here. See how this goes. Oh. Yep, that's tough. funny. See that ring around the white? I have no idea what that's about. Oh. No clue. But I say it's a bonus feature, so bonus. I'm getting used to soaping out here. The difference in the temperatures right now because I just have a space heater out here. And um, so of course it affects, it affects everything that I do from uh, temperature, which I have to soap, my bath bombs, my, my everything, my curing of my soaps, my curing of my candles. So that's what I'm trying to figure out now. It's almost like starting all over again. If you guys can all see that. Way down. I have really no clue what that what that dark line across the top is. Hmm. If anybody knows what that is, leave me some comments on the bottom, and um, I'll read them. I'm actually interested in hearing what people have to say what they think that might be. Inquiring minds want to know. Love that color. I did add a little splash of titanium dioxide because, of course, when I mixed it, it looked um, gray. The blue, uh, uh, that pretty blue from that mica ended up looking more gray than anything. So I added a splash of titanium dioxide and I got that beautiful blue back. Samples. Samples I just need to cut down. And let's see. What else are we going to do? Now I actually have to cut them down and put them on their 
on the curing rack. I've got this little baker's rack that I was able to invest in. Not a baker's, I don't know, some bun tree rack that I was able to invest in. And I've been, trust me, I've been putting it to good use. All. <laughs> I've been putting it to some really good use. I'm about to test its strength, too, by loading it up with soap. So, it'll probably be just a moment with for you guys, but it'll be about a, 30 minutes. So I can clean the space off again and grab my loaf cutter. Loaf cutter? No, my multi-bar cutter. Yeah, I'll grab my multi-bar cutter and we'll start to cut these into individual bars. See you in a few. Alrighty, and we are back. So I've got everything. I've made a little bit of space here and there. Uh, Let's see what we can do. I tried to make it so that you'd be able to see a whole lot better, and I'm still not sure if you're going to get everything, if I'm going to get everything in camera frame because of how I've got things set up. Um, so I'm just going to do the best I can and wing it. You may not be able to see where I put the bars afterwards, but uh, you'll be able to see the cut. So I'm going to try to clean up these edges. Not so sharp. Let's see. Put that down like so. And this is where I make my bars for each. my sample bars for, or my smaller size bars that I put in a uh, sample pack. There you go. In the way. Oh, that sounds good. Ta-da! So, yeah, you're definitely not going to be able to see where I put things away. So this is the travel size bar. So, or that's going to go in my sample pack. So I'll have two of those. Most of the time, I'll have about four. I'll have um, four in each pack. Or I should say four packs of three or four, sometimes even six, so that's how I price them, depending on how many bars come into a pack, but they'll be that, you know, almost half-size bars, and those half-size bars will be in whatever set that I made those, the different scents in for that season, or at least for that run. And then, clean up the edges. Yeah, it's just white scraping. Here. Let's see the cut. Yeah, it's good to clean off the wires in between cuts because if not, sometimes you get streaks or drag marks, I should say. Those drag marks make for an ugly bar. It doesn't do anything, just makes for an ugly bar. Just down there firm and smooth, even cut. Another travel bar. See that? I know what that is. Anybody knows what that is? Let me know. Anybody thinks they know what that is, I'd like to hear your theory as well. Doesn't do anything to the bar, but it's just a funny little line. Never had before. I'm wondering if it's also due to the temperatures, how it's much colder outside, you know, towards the outside of the bars. And while it's curing, it's 
you know, heating up on the inside of these bars. Oof. I want to make sure that does not touch. Clean off those little bits of soap. And this big piece here. Now we've got sweet bourbon cream. Clean off that mess. I don't want any of the soap sticking to your soap. a little bit. Let's see. Line that up right. Oh. Perfect. <coughs> nice. That color will start to even out in a couple of hours and it'll keep doing it until it's so until it's done. Until it says it's done. See that yellow tinge? It'll start to turn like this, like that outer ring. I don't know if you can tell that outer ring. That's what it's going to look like. Oh my gosh. I'm really liking this soap. See how dark this outer ring is here? That's what it's going to all even out to. Oh, wonder if that's my neighbor outside. I don't think my dog's on this side of the yard, actually, so I don't think he's mine. I'm already running out of room of where to put this. I'm going to put my soaps so they don't get damaged while I'm cutting the other ones. Let's see how this works. Am I mumbling again? I am mumbling. I have a habit of mumbling. But that's what I do when I talk to myself. And I got to get in the habit of realizing when I'm on camera, I'm not talking to myself. I'm talking to you guys. So I need to speak up. Let's get rid of these funny lines. Some funny edges. Clean that up. I'm really enjoying this soap. I hope everybody else does too. Quite honestly, I'd love to continue this soap. That's it for you there. So how many bars do I get out of my tall skinny double mold? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I get twelve full size bars. And yes, I do end up cleaning up these edges. Be right back. Alrighty, and I'm back. Sorry about that. My mother was talking to me and she came outside to barbecue, so now I have to close the door. I mean, I'm not going to complain. My mom's outside barbecuing, so heck yeah. I'm just sorry, guys, but barbecue comes first before everything. I don't know how many of you guys agree, but... In my family, 
we all understand. Ooh, let's see. Oh, wow, that one is kind of... Jeez. That one was a little tougher. Get rid of how nice and glossy. That is super nice. I love the way these bars come out. That's solid. I love my soap. It's so pretty. I love making soap. Soap just comes out pretty. It feels nice. Smells good. It's a great gift. You know, when I first started selling soap and um, or selling it in little gift packs and things like that, I had a lot of people asking, oh my God, how embarrassing. You know, how do I give soap to to a family member and and then you know the first thing that they're gonna say is what do I smell bad? I was like, well, <laughs> the, the way you respond to them is just smell it. You're gonna like it. After they smell it, there's there's no more objection. Now people can't wait to see, you know what what they get next, what comes out next, what fragrance it is, what it looks like, and and it's just been amazing. Uh, family members that keep asking you what's this and what's that and and oh my gosh I can't I can't believe you made that and it's not hard it's just a whole lot of work and I enjoy it I think it's so pretty I did not clean up those bars edges did I that's okay I have to go back in and do it later just easier to do it this way because it's quicker you get to do it down one Two sides and done. Oh, yeah. Let's see. I'm not gonna line this. Oh, of course, it cannot line that right. Oh. That's tough, well, still, good clean cuts. Love it. I get a lot of customers and family members asking me to make things as well. You know, can you make it do this? Does, you know, you have one for that. And of course I can't make any claims because it's just soap. To make any claims that it does anything except clean would fall under the Food and Drug Administration. You know, and the claim that it's all natural, well, there's no real label for that as well, or, or clear-cut guidelines to be able to label that on your soap. So there's just a whole lot of restrictions on what it is that I can and can't say. Uh, the ingredients that I use, what I can label it for. Um, the only thing I can say is, you know, some of these things have... have uh, a lot of this is going to be fragrance oils. All it does is clean, make you smell pretty in the shower. It's a wash off product. It is not going to leave your skin smelling like this all day. For that, you need to buy my body lotions, and even those don't last all days, depending on your, you know, your your own skin. Um, but it is it is a nice makes for a very nice bath. These that have, um, what is it, activated charcoal and lavender essential oils. Essential oils are used only in small amounts because they're very concentrated. They do have medicinal uh, properties to them. I can't make any claims because my bar of soap has not gone through a testing, uh, very expensive testing through the FDA where I can show them proof of what it does. So... All I can say is that it has this in it. The properties those things tend to have do have been shown to do this, but I can't say that my soap does that. I can't say that my body lotions do that. I can't say anything containing these these ingredients can actually do that. You know, I'm not one of the big manufacturers that can afford to make those claims and 
and uh, have the proper testing to be able to do it. I'm just a small time girl in the backyard making soap. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be back with another one, hopefully making soapy cupcakes. I can show you some of my piping or instead of saying or, why don't I just say and making embeds. Thank you. Come back later. Bye.